it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I am very excited because boy oh boy that first chapter was incredible. I don't remember in like recent memory a game that has had such a good beginning like that. I think the last one I felt uh, like that was maybe God of War Ragnarok when I played it on release as well but yeah as a sequel you know well sequel to the remake and just the tutorial how everything happens it was just amazing so I'm very excited to continue and jump in so let's go Alright, so we left off right at the beginning of chapter 2. We just finished chapter 1. It was very long, but you guys were like, no, please put it as one video, don't cut it. So I just let it like that, but it was like almost four hours of, of gameplay. Just amazing, amazing first chapter. I actually went back, edited the whole thing and just posted it on the channel. And during editing, I noticed so many things that I did not notice when I was playing. So I want to talk a little bit about that before we jump in. It's not going to take a long time, don't worry. But uh, basically, I paid a little bit more attention during the flashback in Nebelheim. Because I was a bit confused at the end. I'm, I still am, actually. Uh, towards Cloud, Tifa saying that he has actually never been there as far as she knows and stuff like that. The Shinra guard in front of the, um, the house when it's burning and then we are like taking his place kind of. The gloves changing. I was not crazy. They actually do change. All of that. So I paid more attention to the Shinra guards when I was editing. And actually, yeah. Uh, one of the guards, the one that survives, that actually Cloud saves, is Cloud. I am pretty sure. Because, let me explain, in the car, the truck, when we go there, Cloud speaks to the two Shinra guards. And one of them says I'm good or something like that and it's literally the same voice first of all second of all same bottom face I had already actually noticed that but I thought it was just a generic face you know same bottom it looks very similar and you can see blonde hair like spiky at the back here it is cloud it can't it can't be anyone else I don't think so one of the two guards is another cloud like it's kind of like double cloud that's what I thought at first you know maybe it's something to do with the timelines something like that but then why would Tifa say cloud as far as I know has never been there it would make sense if she never noticed that the Shinra guard is cloud and she never knew, never thought he was there at all because she just thought he was a soldier. And I think he even saves her. When I was editing the first, I think it's the first combat, Tifa is almost um, attacked by an enemy and that, I think it's the same guard, saves her. And he never speaks. And she even pointed it out. She was like, the, can he even say a word or something? I don't remember exactly what she's, but she's like, she's like, can he, can he at least speak to me when he is the one keeping an eye on her? I'm pretty sure that's actually Cloud, but it, it's, it makes no sense. Why Cloud that we know is like remembering it in a way and then, and it's actually those gloves, by the way, that we see. It's the bolts, like this. So, is he able, like I, I mentioned before, is he able to project himself, use people as, as vessels? So the person that was with Sephiroth and everything was not actually him, but he used that person to remember 
as like this cloud is this the cloud that tifa knows so well is this a new cloud because of the timelines or is he just really not remembering right i don't know i don't know but i'm pretty like i'm 99 percent sure that the shinra soldier the shinra guard was also cloud in nibelheim and the last thing that makes me like almost sure is when you walk to the house and you know you are about to open it and it's in flame and then you fl you fly off but before just when you're walking i didn't notice when i was playing obviously but when i was editing i saw the guard that i said looked like shinra it is shinra um he says uh sephiroth and then mo like mother or mom like m-o and dot 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 so <laughs> and then that reminds me i think it was hojo in remake if i am not mistaken you guys let me know if i'm wrong i think hojo in remake said oh you're a are you a first class soldier and then cloud is like retired like ex you know ex soldier or something and then hojo is like no no i remember now you were never a soldier he says that to cloud and cloud is like what what why would he say that if it's not true do you know what i mean and now we have a whole flashback in nibelheim where actually cloud would be just a security officer, not a soldier. So is it because we beat Harbinger now everything is fucked? Like for Cloud that we know, he is a soldier, he was whatever, he has done all those things, you know, whatever. Like I'm, I'm putting a lot of blame on the timelines, I know, but it's the only thing that makes sense right now. Like I just... Why else would there be double cloud? Or he is using people like Sephiroth does, but it doesn't make sense just to remember something. Like, yeah. And then taking his, his place. I, I don't... The, the security officer, I mean. So yeah, this is my big, big thing right now that I'm like... There is more behind this that I just don't understand yet, I think. But I'm guessing it's gonna get explained. But yeah, when Tifa said, as far as I know, Cloud was never there, that blew my mind. And then I was like, wait, that actually explains why I was so confused about everything that was going on during the flashback, right? All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can play. <laughs> We can play. This looks amazing, by the way. It's so beautiful. I really like it. I will say the game does look a little bit blurry, you know, the quality. I feel like it's almost not as good as Remake, but it's probably gonna get patched. I'm guess I know I'm on performance mode, so obviously it's not gonna look as good. Um, but honestly, for this game, I tried uh, graphic graphics mode, and the uh, frame rate was really bad. So I, I just it hurts my brain. So I, I prefer I prefer having less less of a good quality in um, graphics, but having a more smooth experience. So I'm gonna keep it like this. It's a preference, really. But yeah, I, I do notice that it's a little blurry like the edges his face you know it's not as good as in the remake actually i'm hoping they'll patch this eventually i'm guessing they will but yeah what is on the door that's What's so this? cute what a is... gift from our humble establishment though it may not look like much it should help you to break the ice with those you meet queen's blood what what is that you cannot play the card game! It's not Fort Condor. 
but you know, it's fine. Queen's Blood. Find other players denoted by the icon around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks. <gasps> That's fun. Learn how to play? Sure. Queen's blood. Draw blood. All right, each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes that spawns from left to right. I love the music. First try, first try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay. Gargantuar. It's like chess a little bit. Okay, he wanted me to put it there. I mean, the game wanted me. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. Your new positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power, while the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. I'm really bad, by the way. Um, really really bad at learning board games by reading a tutorial i need to read it like multiple times so i'm, I'm sorry i get distracted i'm so bad especially in english new positions will also be added okay okay so you need to be mo more powerful or okay he's placing Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlap with one of your existing positions. Levacron. Okay. Like that to make it two. Right. Position ranks. When one of your card's position tiles overlaps with a position you control, the position rises in ranks. Yes, I noticed. As there are two pawns on that tile now, the position is ranked 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank. Ah! Which is denoted by the number in the top left corner of the card. Thus, in order to make more powerful cards, you will have to raise the rank of your position. Yeah. As you now have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card on it. Yes. So I'm gonna switch his stuff. Wow, that's so good. To mine. Claiming positions. When one of your card's position overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position, yeah. However, the claiming position will not raise its rank. Okay. Oof. Board and card breakdown. You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. The numbers on the left represent your power, while ones on the right represent your opponents. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are the tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Oh, place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power in more lanes than your opponents. In the event you cannot place cards, you can pass with triangle. If both pass consecutively, the game will end. Uh, okay, so now I need to think. Uh... If I put... Okay, I see. If I put this here... I'll just switch one. Okay, this would be better. Right? Maybe? I'm not sure.
Uh huh. Let's try that. I don't know what it does in the middle. It's an ability. I'm guessing a plus two. So I could put that. Raise the power of allied cards on affected titles by two. Okay, I don't have a three right now. Raise the power of allied cards on... Okay. So... Blood. I think this one would be good, actually. Because I could... Yeah, I could switch... This one at the bottom. He passed? Really? I don't know if I should continue or just pass as well. Maybe I can just... Maybe I would win? I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I think I would win now, right? Like... Yeah, I think we're good. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with the higher power in the lane has their power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high you, your power in the lane may be, if it is less than your opponent's power in the same lane, you will, it will not be count towards your score. That's what I was thinking. That's why I was continuing. After calculating the winner for each lane and adding their lane scores up, the player will, with the higher total score wins. Nice! Victory! That concludes the Queen's Blood tutorial! Yeah, more cards to your collection by winning them off of other players or purchasing booster packs from shops. In your quest to amass cards, you may even end up becoming the best player on the planet. Woo, I had a chill. Nice! Uh, okay, I see. Oh, you see it in game when there's a place of interest. Oh, a chest. Yes, please. I hadn't noticed last time that you could see. Can I go in Tifa's room? Oh wow. This is nice. Okay. Oops. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor oh. bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction. How different is it gonna be? Tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Was it the same sectors? Wasn't there sector 5? In the beginning of the game? I don't remember. Is it Queen's Blood? Hello? No? Okay. Let me go upstairs first. I just... I want to see if I missed anything here. During the... Like the cutscene. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that! So whimsical. <laughs> no, but seriously, it looks so good. 
It reminds me of... It, it's a bit... Oh, wow. It's a bit like of a mix of... Uh, fan fantastical like Harry Potter but also steampunk it's really nice to look at it's like a steampunk Harry Potter basically know what I mean <laughs> I think it's because of the roofs like the rooftops the way they are made reminds me of Harry Potter probably but oh, I love it okay let's go down <laughs> Wrong game! Course, good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Broden. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Equipment check outfitting the party. Adjust your party's gear by accessing materia, of course. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is an order. Yes. Good idea. Okay, so way, this Clyde, is going to be Do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should them? go see them. Like manuscript? The first customization is always free. What? Bucolic calm. Calm's a simple but beautiful town. It really is. Take your time. See the sights. Get your folios and weapons inspected yet? Calm's a simple but beautiful town. Uh, I was saying something and it just, I don't remember what I was saying. Finally. <laughs> Rough oh, I day remember. yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Oh. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yay! Let's go! Join the party! We get plans Red 13! I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. What's sure your thing. equipment? Your collar, but apart from that? I'm so... I'm Rook's so got excited. a backbone. <laughs> I was about to say earlier that uh, that song that this is going to be the chapter probably where you know it's a bit more open world, not open world, but like city open, um, and we're just gonna learn, you know, upgrading stuff and things like that. So I like that. That's that's chill. It's a chill episode, I'm guessing. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more your skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Folios being like upgrade. You know, the stuff that we... Uh, okay, I can literally go anywhere right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, the... Uh, so how was your trip to Midgar? Did you hit it for uh, Unbeam like you always The stuff do? we get for SP, yeah, you, you know. Been there, man. This blonde dude slayed the stage like I've never seen. It was me! Then they beat his mug and sent him to Corneo's place. Hope he made it out of there in one piece. It's me! Hey, yo, you don't recognize me? I know I don't have my dress hey, right now. Do you know what's going on in Midgar? Oh, that's, uh, uh, la Lavender? Or Lilac? I never, I always <laughs> mix the two. I think that's lavender, right? Beautiful. This is so much better than Midgar, like. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. 
What made them the way they are? I bet all my gilded chinless got something to do with them. Oh, I'm working on an article about those men in robes. Most agree that they suffer from acute Mako poisoning, but others theorize that they're also victims of secret experiments. I think it's both. Personally, I think there's something even more sinister behind their existence. But I don't have any proof yet. The game foreshadowing. Careful making claims involving Shira. Yeah. That was very interesting, sir. Thank you. Them. I thought maybe that was Scarlet, I'm not sure. A young Scarlet. The hooded man, eh? Is it just me? Or is Broden not doing so well? Broden. I think he's been under the weather recently. Didn't you used to have a crush on him? Said his eyes looked sad when he smiled or something? Oh gosh. Broden, the Don't innkeeper. Sorry. If a twister like that is, I could kiss my house goodbye. Yeah, the the weather. Sorry. It's a nice breeze today. <gasps> Sorry guys, this is going to be an entire episode where I just walk around and listen to people. <laughs> I pray these peaceful days last forever. Maybe not. I'll get tired probably later, but <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> I should just go up and challenge. Somebody. Yeah, me! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking around a little. Okay, we can do this one. Because you look sad. I can help. <laughs> what do you want? Ah. Don't scare me like that! You... You don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that... The board looks oh, so cool. What am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me! Oh, God, this is too much! I'll murder <laughs> you in-game, yeah. I'm gonna throw up! Don't <laughs> give me that look! It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know! <laughs> <laughs> I know. People call me crybaby dead! Because the more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's blood! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> sure. I need a promotion requirement. I need to defeat three players. Blood Servant. Okay, I can choose my deck. Ah! Edit deck. I'm sorry. Uh... Very nice. Kind of like Cor Fort Condor. Okay. Let's try this. We'll we'll do the three this episode, but I'll keep it to a minimum because I don't want to bore you guys. Taking a mulligan. If you don't like some or any of the cards you have drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. As you cannot play high rank cards right away, it is often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. Makes sense. Like this one. I think the rest are fine. Yes. Okay. Let me do... Like this. Ooh! stressful because it appears on your your side you know Hmm. 
Nice. That's pretty good. I think. No, it wasn't that good. Uh, this. do much. Oh my god, dude. I can do anything. <gasps> I'm gonna lose. Okay, okay, we're counting. Shit. Okay. Rematch. We got our butt handed to us. It's fine. Um, My three are always like at, at the. It's not really good. Whoa! I'm not doing super good. I. Can I do anything? Yes. Okay, wait. Sorry. Seven. I have more chances to get this one uh, caught, I think, than the one that that is protected. Okay. Whew. Uh, this one. Here we go, I can't do anything more now. I think I'm gonna win. Yes! Let's go! Alright, that was better. Okay, We're, we, we'll get there. <laughs> Crystalline... Crystalline? Crab, raise the power of light cards. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh God, I lost. But uh, I feel a lot better oh, I after put having my... a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. 
Uh, yeah, for sure. Confirmed, uh, Cloud is gonna cry before the end of this game. Also, this is the right stamp. The stamp that we know. It's not the same stamp that Zack's timeline. This is the right one. Yeah, we put the Buster Sword in the in this because we can't sit down with that, you know. <laughs> no, let's be gonna cry, baby. Oh, that's so cute. What is that? Is mushroom? <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, the inn, yes. So I've done like this, basically. I could go this way. This is a... Another that I could do. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, is it the same truck that... No, I don't think it's the same. No. I was about to say a similar yeah, truck to the ones we used. The one we used at the end of the remake. But no. Let them deal with the fallout while we reap the benefits. Ew. Guess what? I'm gonna get to dance in the Harvest, harvest festival. festival. Congratulations! Have you gotten your costume yet? I'd love to see it. It's so cool! I hope I can be a dancer too when I grow up. When I grow up, I wanna be famous, I wanna be a star, I wanna be a <gasps> And with the music, is so... terrain action. Whoa! Excuse me? Amazing. I hear Midgar's a mess right now. Oh, music. I am Baron Kylegate. Behold the towering wall that I have built. The future of Calm is bright indeed. No. No, that won't do it all. <laughs> I'll never draw clouds to the theater. There's a chest! <laughs> oh, in the flowers! Okay. I am Baron Kylegate. Behold the towering wall that I have built. There you are. Oh, looky here. Mr. Collisworth. Contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But first, let I'm, me introduce I'm, you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Yeah. Well, are ya? Yes. I am. Okay, now I have a new card. Nice, so we could replace it instead of two of those, maybe? I could get one of this? Like that? I don't know. Let's try this again. Queen B. Mm. I would have liked to put it there, you know. Not helpful. Oh, three. Yeah, that could be good. Maybe, I'm not sure. 
Oh, I have a two now here. I uh, I think I've had them for a while actually. Hmm. Oh, she passed. Well. Uh, two, but this one is worth a bit more. I'm winning! Hey yo, here we go. We're getting there. Cactus. Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about <laughs> up in your game. <laughs> Listen, kid, you got take what it takes L, to be a kid. champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blondie your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank she's you so for playing good. cards with me, mister. Oh, she's amazing. What a good kid. Even bowing at the end and everything. Okay, so I've seen a little bit of here. Of course, there's this, there... Oh my goodness gracious, I see ya. Okay. All the kids at school are playing it. This is a destination. Okay, I'm gonna do. <gasps> Tifa! <sighs> There's a nice breeze. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I apologize I for yesterday. Say, uh, this tank reminds you. Yes, of it does. The windmill. The water tower in Nibelheim. Yes. Looks kind of like the water tower. In oh, I didn't have time to read the rest. Right? Weird to think how much it meant to me Shit. back then when I was still there. Ah! That was too fast. There was a timer. I thought. I think I saw promise at the bottom. I should have said that. The promise I made you. I should have been better. Ah! I'm so frustrated. I had no idea. Shit. Ah, oh, time shit like that is so scary. Cloud's action affects his relationships with his allies and the strain of these bonds can alter version of the story. Uh, no shit. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud. That was two minutes ago. Do I cheat? Let me save, uh, just in case. I was not ready, okay? Good lord. That's good. Now I'm ready. <laughs> it's not fair game. Okay, I I I will cheat for the oh, I think it has already <sighs> No, okay. Morning. Okay. Morning. Everyone's I want to think the promise thing, I think. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? The place I made a promise to you. It's not even in the same place yeah. as before. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue ah! one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Oh, hell yes! Oh! 
Okay, uh, she still thinks the same of us. This but is such a quiet, peaceful. Time. I highly prefer this answer. I don't care. It feels a little weird to be. You guys can call me though. cheater. I I take accountability. This is such a quiet, peaceful. Time. <laughs> Feels a little weird to be taken I take accountability. Easy. This is my playthrough, okay? <laughs> I was not ready. I noticed the timer and I was I panicked. It took me long enough, but I finally went and got myself a cat. So people don't know Prison Shinra is dead. Holy. Uh yeah, I mean, fair enough. Okay, uh, did I miss anyone else? Oh, what is going on here? She's late. Too late. Oh. Or am I here too oh. early? Was getting here proposing? a day ahead of time overkill? Maybe I got a little carried away with this whole proposal business, but the weekly horoscope <gasps> Can I is dance? crystal clear. Preparation is key. How else am I supposed to interpret that? Can I dance? I'm the best dancer there is. <laughs> no one says anything. Boo! Get off the stage! No? <laughs> okay, we could do this first. The books. Also, there's a chest this way. So let me just get that! Finally decided to get up. So she also yeah. doesn't like me right now. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. Hey! You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Mm, sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! I don't know Since if Tifa's gonna idea. be like... I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Can I like romance both of them? <laughs> I'll catch up with you later, all right? Oh my god, oh, tell no. me you read the latest. Took a wrong turn the other day and wound up at the lookout on the cliff. My boy and I had a hey, big yo. falling out. <laughs> Chest. Uh I kind of like said yes, but I Oh yeah, I could probably change. Oh wow. Can't we do materia for everybody at the same time? Set for all. Ah! Oh, thank god. Okay. Uh, oh, what kind of a. Uh, do I have Leviathan? Chocobo in Mughal? Shiva? Ifrit? Okay. I think it's in system. I need to go. I need to go in system. And then do else DLC uh Mughal Trio summoning material summon a group of Mughal starts <laughs> Coupotivating experience Leviathan of course and Ramu of course Thank you goodbye Let's go <laughs> Okay I do love Chocobo in Mughal but I really wanna try the Mughal trio that's so cute Large amount of non-elemental magic damage. Raises party synergy by two levels. Size small. Cannot gain levels. Very nice. Uh, I don't think any of them can change their level, yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I need to go see... Yeah, of course I'm equipping metal bracers. That's fine. Grants immunity to sleep. Let's go. 
Uh, oh, you don't have anything. Let's put the put the advent for you. Uh, she has leather gloves, of course. Oh, you also don't have anything. Oops. What kind of material do you have? You have chakra, of course, and ice. Guard stick. Arcane ward. Very nice. And mitral collar. Unleash a dev devastating attack over a wide area. Cause 2 ATB Stardust Ray. Very cool. Uh, I was thinking, okay, we have healing here, prayer, wind, poison, okay. Uh, we have a few of those now. Healing, fire, assess is a pretty good combo. You have HP up. I would actually change it for here. Do I have any blue? No, because we, we didn't keep... Oh, you can now go in by color. That's very nice. We didn't keep from the flashback, of course. Makes sense. Yeah. And you see who's who has that currently. He has pre precision? Really? That's... Okay. Okay, I think it's fine. We don't have a lot yet, you know, so... Okay. Let's go in the bookstore. I'm not going the right way. <laughs> ah! Beautiful! Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points, yeah. At uh, Magneta Books, locations and automats to augment your party's folios. Thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Unlocking skill cores in characters' folio. Increases their stats or teaches them new abilities, including synergy. Okay. Oh, this looks different. Orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points. Okay. Move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does. For now, move to the skill core in the upper left. Firework blade. Cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash a ranged attack. SP cost 5. Uh, do I have to unlock this one? I guess I do. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when adapting a character's strength to suit your playstyle. Oh! Yeah, okay. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. A character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as Art of Swordplay. Unlock skill cores can be reset at any time and the SP spent will be returned, so feel free to experiment. <gasps> And that's about all we can nice. do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface. Believe yeah. you me. Okay. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. No, no, I... Uh... What'll it be? What was this one? With Barrett. Uh, no, it was just arranged. With Barrett and... Okay. And uh, Red 13. Increase Punisher mode, HP, win current, only should win attack without expanding MP. What? Reset. No, I'm gonna keep it, it, it looks to limit level increase. That's 
nice. They, this I could use more though than this one since I have more chances to have one or the other in my party. Or is it with two, the two of them? No, it's, it depends. Okay, what about Barret? Team up with your partners to take a strong defensive stance. Iron defense. Barret and Red 13 hold their focus. Temporary three charge ATV gauge. Electric impulse, enhance overcharge. Theory impulse, max HP. I do like the idea of iron defense, but I think this would be good. I do use overcharge a lot. This is so freaking cool. What about Tifa? All right, uh, Tifa. Synchro Cyclone. Cloud and Tifa leap into the air and deliver a spinning attack. It looks so good. <gasps> okay, this one is quite good. And then we have team up with a partner to perform a jumping attack. Leaping strikes, that's very nice. Combo damage up. Why does it show Barret? No, I'll take this one. And Aerith. Oh, they all have their colors. So cute. Tifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area. Synergy. Okay. Increase synergy. Wind. Bodyguard. Ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. That could be really good, actually, because she is quite squishy. Uh, but I I want more uh, skills with, like, a partner, I think. Like, a special attack. I think that's so, 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 so cool. Where is Red 13 flying towards an enemy at a high velocity? That's so funny! What do you mean? Counter spin. Okay, he has counter spin. That's why he, uh, they put precision block on him, I guess. Team up with your partner to charge forward while guarding against incoming attacks. This one. Here we go. Thanks for stopping by. That was incredible. I just hope we can use them with the commands menu because uh, it was a bit difficult with Sephiroth. I'll be honest, I, uh, it was like too fast, you know, I, I, can, I don't have the time to think. I like to pause, pause the menu with the menu and choose the right synergy that I think would work, la la la. Instead of just using with L1 and then... I like the dynamic shortcuts too, don't get me wrong, but I wish it was a choice. I hope it is. It wasn't with the tutorial, except when we did like a really special synergy thing at the end. Uh, but yeah. Ah, we have a uh, last uh, last player. Keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze at it all day. Uh, well. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse late. me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. <laughs> oh, come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe... You're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, wait. Uh, I don't really like this, I guess. I could delete one and then grab this one. Yeah. Let's go. We will 
Mulligan? This one? Wait. Oh, shit. I made a mistake. Uh... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't have much of a choice, so, um... Maybe to secure this one. Nine. Sorry. Uh, that would give me a two, yeah. Damn it. Oh my lord. We're not doing too good. Well, shit. Oh lord. Well played. Well played. Rematch. Yes. I don't want to hear her being like, told you you would get your ass handed to you. <laughs> or something. <laughs> I 
I am not doing too bad, actually. I shouldn't have said that. Oof. Oof, okay. Uh... have some that I can put that I trapped okay nice very nice let me put a let me think about this this would do a plus one and one here but I'm already over the most important is this one now I'm over. I won. I'm gonna make sure. You know. <laughs> Just in case. Here we go. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. I think I was lucky. I'm not sure. It's a three. How can someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? New blood! I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people Why safe. Why are people so weird in here? But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. <laughs> Jesus. No need for hostilities. So you can just swim around. You know, I thought Tom was dead. Okay, I have a date with Eric. <laughs> I need to go here. This Mako take allows us to live in Didn't she wanna climb? How do I climb? Wait, or is she still in front of a uh... The tank itself is I want to go up the clock. Oh, she's not there anymore. Wait, I thought I thought that was that was what she was talking about. Am I I don't think there's a way to go up there, is there? There's Aerith. This tranquility? Maybe I misunderstood. I think I did. All right then. <gasps> Chocobo! Can I pet you? You're so cute! Hi. You are very important in my life. You don't know it yet, but you are. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Uh-huh. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Upgrading weapons. Okay, so I thought that earlier the skill core was replacing th this, but actually it's now two different things, so... All right. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills as well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Change your character's weapon will now reset the level. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Upgrade. Here you can see your party current equipment in their SP. Yeah. Select Cloud's Buster Sword. Weapons attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Now try equipping a new weapon skill. <coughs> I'm sorry. The only way you can equip skills are displayed here. Nice. Okay. 
Uh, here you will find a list of uh, available skills. Select weapon ability damage plus 5. As you increase your weapon level, you will learn more skills and unlock more nods in which to set them. In addition to the upgrade weapon screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to the material and equipment screen, select a character and pressing triangle set material. If you prefer a more streamlined experience, you can opt to automatically allocate weapon skills. Nah! This can be done by auto upgrade settings menu. I see. Yeah, just like in, in Remake. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? It's oh, a she. So while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Yeah? New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but you should, should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Oh, that's nice. That's very thoughtful, game. <laughs> Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. I don't have enough gill. Oh, fuck. Firebolt blade. Even if I sell, I won't have enough. I will not forget you, sleek saber. Oof. But uh, no, no, no. I'm keeping my money for weapons. Weapon now. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability, which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to use said ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. I love that. Check it ability proficiency bonus via materia and equipment. That's why in the tutorial it was not doing anything, the proficiency. It should have just made it full then. I guess it wouldn't have made sense. Focus shots! Focus shot! Dive kick! Arcane ward! Stardust ward! Uh, Ray? Stardust Ray. Okay, uh... Wait. Upgrade. Upgrade. Okay, so I was right. It's what I bought earlier, right? Enhanced overcharge. Okay, I was right. What I did earlier by buying skill cores, you can put as weapon skills. Okay. That's a bit confusing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Increase the duration of on bridal strike! Increase attack power while on bridal strain is active with an with a five percent boost. At oh shit, that's so good! On bridal strain is the best thing ever. Not so fleeting familiar. Increase fleeting familiar duration by twenty five percent. Increase wind damage. Okay, interesting. And for you. Restores HP when activating vengeance mode. Or enhanced counter spin. I'm very interested in that. Alright. So you can't upgrade any time. You need to go to the merchant with your SP. That's a bit annoying. In my opinion. Do you have wind right now, my sweetie? Yes, you do. Perfect. Why, there we go. It's, it's literally a date. Oh no. 
Clock Tower Plaza. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, I didn't mean to make it a date, though. I love her with though, so... Cloud! Over here! I hope Tifa doesn't hate Clock Tower! Okay, I misunderstood. I thought it was the windmill. <laughs> I was distracted, probably. Let's get started then, shall we? She's so cute! I didn't want to say no. Like, I, I want all the abilities and such. They said that we would improve abilities or synergize. It Was it? <laughs> If we have better bonds? No? Maybe I'm mistaken. Music stop. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. Even Barrett knows. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Yeah, she was alone, right? Don't take her for granted. Like... Wait. So, is this main objective? I'm so confused! What the hell? Just Explore the city a bit more. I guess I can do it later. Shinra always has to spoil all the fun. They're looking for us, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Gotta be. It is the main scenario. Okay, wait. So was was this all? Sorry. Oh. Okay. I didn't know it was the main scenario. I thought it was an optional thing. All right. Oh, that's so much fun. Here we go. Well, did I miss anything? No, probably not. Ready to fight, Aerith? You and I together. Oh, I didn't check the synergize stuff. Uh, shortcuts. Ah, uh, there you are. Easy. We need to get back to the end. Okay. I thought maybe it was a mole. They're safe. Trust me. No violence, please. This town suffered enough. Come on. How do they know we're here, you know? Follow me. Just a second. Okay, it's always offensive and defensive. Okay. I'm sorry, I like unbridled on the X actually. 
So did they put a little... Um, a little blue dot to be like, hey, that's like what you want to gain proficiency in, you know? <laughs> I think it is. Uh, sorry, I wanted to do it like this. Maybe the opposite, actually. Let's put chakra here. There we go. And, um... Why is it different in the air? Arcane Ward is good here. Perfect. And she can't do aerial stuff. Look at that, she is only on ground. No problem. We could put Prey. Now, I don't know what his stuff is. I, we've never played as him, so... I would like steel skin here, and I do use maximum fury a lot. I really like it. Okay. Uh... in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. I've got a contact at HQ. Are you, though? I don't know. Avalanche? Not exactly. You never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Careful out there. Just like in the DLC. Very nice. Sorry for jokes. thinking you were a mole. <laughs> I mean, he still could be. Just to try to gain our trust, he could be doing all this. But, I don't know. Oh, it's really cold and I'm hungry! Oops. Sorry about that. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. Tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. What is that? It's a transmuter. 
Thank you for answering. Convert raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Crafting in this you game. Get more use out of it than me. Crafting in this game. In this day and age. Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is great. Turn to send. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history yeah. with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change be my mind, good. you better get going. Like he's sick or something? From the item to a sweeter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumable equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmuter chips found throughout the world, or improve your craftsmanship. Sure. Items and armor. Item transmuter, yes. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmuter chips will expand the range of items you can create. Wow. These are the materi ma materials in necessary amounts uh, for the selected items. Here you can see requirements for transmitting a potion. I have just enough. <laughs> so it happens. Transmitting an item for the time, for the first time grants XP. Which increases your craftsmanship. Okay, be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. Oh, that's cool. Uh, potion. Mm, materials can be found out in the field or in chests and gained through combat. Also, items that can be obtained via transportation. Okay. You can keep your supplies stopped up without needing to buy. Okay. Ah! Oh. How is it called? Item transmuter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course, Wendy. Hello? They just said to. Why is he hurt? This goes without saying. But you'll have to lie low for a while. I'll let my friend at the farm know you're coming. It's all good. Best of luck to you. This goes without saying. But you'll have to lie low for a while. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to explore the town more. <laughs> Shit. Air raid shelter. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Okay. Sorry, we're She's late. happy to see me at least. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. Don't say that. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Not the love triangle. <laughs> oh. No. Got that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's move. Only Barrett can get us out of that love triangle. Barrett. Barrett. <laughs> oh no, the game is gonna go that way, eh? I see how it is. They're gonna make me choose for real, but like, the other character is gonna be super sad about it. Ugh. How dare, game. How dare make me feel Where bad. You know? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Woo! My dude, Barrett. Why nobody is romancing Barrett, eh? <gasps> There's a chest. On a date, kind of. Shut up, Aaron! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, it was it was nice though. It's kind of cute. But my girl is Tifa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but. I love Aerith, but you know, childhood friend to lovers is like the best trope, so I, I yeah, Tifa's my girl. I wanna date with Tifa, please. <laughs> I'm sure uh, eventually in the game we'll be able to. 
But then Aerith's gonna be sad. <laughs> Aerith, you might have a uh, other timeline, Zach. Who knows? Also, let's not forget she has a white materia in her hair. Like, ribbon, wow. I guess. <gasps> Grassland! Just look at it all. It's so green. Yeah, nothing like Midgar. Wow. A living, breathing planet. Beautiful. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Mm. <laughs> Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a Chocobo? direction and start walking. Chocobo? Left, your left, your left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Well, guess not. Fuck. Let's go. Okay, but I. <laughs> Shit. I really thought it was a side thing. I didn't check if it was a main. Oh, Nearly maybe I missed chests. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. She's so cute. Right. The cutscenes look amazing. I can see that. All right, let's get this show on the road, people. That was so cute. It's just your battle party from the combat settings screen in the main menu. You can create up to three preset parties to swap between. That's nice. While exploring the world, open the commands menu and press L1 or R1 to switch parties. Press uh, the map and get your bearings. While story markers and discovery markers will be automatically added to the map, you can place your own pin. Oh, awesome. For now, head to the farm Broden spoke of, marked by that. Okay. The pin. Kokon's Parader. You can see Mako. Floating around. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my lord! Edit party. That could be my first, and then my second could be Tifa, Aerith, and then third could be Barret, Red. Would that be okay? I don't know. It's hard to choose. Hmm, sorry. I have a lot of chills today. It's cold. <sighs> Maybe I did everything I could, but I am pretty sure I must have missed some things. Okay, so this is quite far. But you can just explore as well. Like, what if I go this way? I guess I can't. <laughs> nice. <sighs> so, 
right now we have everybody but once we get into combat oop, we only get the the ones you choose in your combat settings i'm guessing required to transmute items can be obtained while out exploring the world yeah purchase at checkable tax stops shops if you're ever in need of a specific material, take note of its symbol as it may point you in the right direction. Oh, a bone is dropped by enemy. Hard to come by, okay. Reveal more information required materials, okay. And regions. Whoa, oh, the music. This looks cool. Oh! Okay. You know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? It has Mako. Yeah. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. <laughs> you call it a pipeline, but I call it a funnel. One that drains the planet's lifeblood into generous pockets. Mark Ooh, my words. Enemies. I'm going to put a stop to that. Oh, I know. How about we break it in half and stick one end in the ground? That way we'll really be given back to the planet. There's an idea. Real genius one. And unique? Very. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me. Mandragora. Splitting their elemental weakness will pressure them, and fitting enough damage will cause them to rest. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will interrupt the rest. Fire and cold. Keep it together. Fighting as Barretts. Specializes in ranged attacks, allowing him to strike enemies that Cloud cannot reach. Sustain burst of automatic fire, okay. Triangle will unleash a powerful overcharge, of course. Yeah. Pressing triangle after using an ability or a standard attack will greatly fill the. Yeah. I already did that. Like that. Fighting as Tifa. The effect sells at clo close range combat and uses quick combos to deal damage. Press square to execute a normal attack or hold it down to deliver a single powerful blow. And Bridal Strength can be used to temporarily enhance her triangle unique ability up to three times, as well as increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. It's the same. Uh, use triangle and staggered foes to increase the damage multiplier! Let's go! <laughs> Oh hell yeah! No time Woo! to celebrate. <sighs> oh, I barely have any HP. Holy, nine hundred. Yeah, I had more in the tutorial. <laughs> I'm sorry, than I do now. I can't get over how beautiful it is. Oh, that's rare. Can I uh, make anything? Not exactly. It's so cool to see all of them. I love that. Ah. Oh. Amazing. Let's do this. Fuck on this. Here come, take the lead. All right, watch it learn. Oh, they are orcs. I, I have not said that. Best do it right. These men with short tempers that live in grassy areas, they possess primitive weapons, often attack fellow orcs with them as a form of communication or play. Fire is there. Here we go. That's that. 
When in the throes of battle, the entity slumbering within an equipped summoning material may begin to steer, prompting the summon gauge to appear, even with like normal enemies. When this gauge has completely failed, you can call upon this deformity, deformed entity for assistance. What is the one I'm just, I'm seeing right now? What? I want to try perfect luck. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, that was not good. I can't need my help, do you? How'd you like that? Yeah, that. Everybody was a uh... Yeah. We need to go to someone. Oh no, I could ask before using folios. I need folios basically to to change anything. It is what I understand. To unlock more skills. What was that? shop oh I see Thorin is not here with us right now <laughs> amazing that open world feels really good so far I would say there's also something there there's like there's stuff everywhere guys I was thinking of stopping actually. Um, I know it's a way shorter episode than last time. I'm it's on purpose. I'm trying to <laughs> not play for too long. <laughs> um, and I think you know a lot of things happen and like we're good, you know. I'm it's not like nothing happened today or anything, so it shall be interesting for you guys, I think. But uh, yeah, I just don't wanna aha, uh -huh, we can go up there, okay. Yeah, let's let's end on the yeah. on a cool view. Uh. Hey. So I think that's that's the farm where I need to go, probably. There's a chest there! Wait... Okay, and never mind, guys, we are going to finish on Hardcore Parkour. And then we'll, uh, we'll end. <laughs> no way, I just saw that for sure I can go on top. <laughs> ah, that's so fun! That's awesome! Everybody can swim, even Red. They're kind of far. <laughs> Let me just reach back up. At least we can really jump and there's no fall damage to... As far as I can tell, I mean. Okay, and then... Up here... Oh, hell yeah! Area of interest. A, a cache. You may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all chests in the location to mark it on your map is complete. There's two in here. The last one is at the end of the... Bogo Metal! Let's go! Oh, 
Okay, I see. This one. One out of two. I like the sound it makes. I don't know. It's nice. Woo! Okay, hardcore parkour. You guys ready? I'm so ready. Ah, <laughs> oh, it feels really nice. Hey yo, let's go. Okay. Are you guys following? <laughs> oh, there's many. Wait, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same cash. Is that how you say cash? Cashing in. Complete a search of, the, of a cash location. <laughs> that was awesome. I got a lot of stuff. I could make an antidote. Let's make it for the first time. Hey, let's go! Very nice. I see. So you see where it's found as well. Like sage is found in grasslands. Very nice. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, because you can make armor as well. To-do list. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, I'm going to stop here. This is so exciting because... Oh, I think we can rest there, maybe? Uh, this is very exciting because the open world seems really nice. I'm going to get lost a lot. I Not lost necessarily, but like doing everything except the main objective. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I'll probably do that for a while, but uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm really liking this. They have introduced new things, but in a way that feels very organic. For example, now you have choices that actually really do matter. Not that they didn't in Remake, I guess they still did, but you have a timer on some of your choices. Uh, you can have a bond with with your party like uh, augment your party level or something i'm not sure i understood that very correctly but i feel like uh answering well yeah okay that's the l1 that's oh. oh okay that's why we can see like this oh Sorry, I just understood why I could see the stuff on the map directly. Okay. So now everybody is kind of like not liking me much, but uh, <laughs> we'll develop that and I guess our party level will increase and then we gain new synergized stuff maybe or new abilities or something like that. So yeah. Uh, they introduced that really well. Uh, everything else, it's it's like everything from the remake is there, and then some. And I'm, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually a little, I'm excited, but I'm a little concerned as well. What I mean by that is, I don't know if it's gonna be too much. Like, too many things you actually can do as a build or as, like as a playstyle. And you end up just not doing any of those and just do your favorite stuff. I guess that's what's gonna happen, because even with Sephiroth, I was so overwhelmed with everything I could do with him, together with Cloud, just Cloud. Like, it's a lot, you know? There's new attacks when you roll uh with, with sephiroth and i think with cloud as well if you roll and and press uh i think it's triangle or square it's like a new attack and then we have the synergized st 
stuff, but you have also um, uh, the 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 skill core. I guess is kind of the same, but just done differently. Maybe you can just do it anytime you need, like to go to a dude and buy the folios. I guess. And uh, yeah, that that kind of thing is um, is different, but. I feel like we'll be able to do so much more and by building our relationships as well, so... Maybe it'll be done. I think they did a great job for this episode. Like this chapter, I mean, well, I'm not done with the chapter, obviously, but they did a great job. I was not like overwhelmed with everything that was going on, but it's like they really put everything into one single game. Like they put everything from the DLC, everything from remake, and then some more uh, crafting. I don't know how good that's gonna be for this game, to be honest. I was not expecting crafting for this game. I'm not a big crafter, I'm gonna say, when it's not a survival game. I just don't use that much, but if we can make armor, that's already a bit more interesting. Maybe we can make weapons later, I don't know, I doubt it, but... I guess, I guess we'll see, you know, it's just some concerns that I have early on regarding gameplay that I'm like, maybe it's gonna be just a bit too much and I'm gonna end up just not using those things. I mean, if it doesn't hinder my experience, like if it doesn't make my experience worse in some type of way, then I don't, obviously I don't mind. And I think it's cool that you can do, the, the more things you have like this that are offered to you, the more different builds you can do with your characters in an RPG like this, so that's always good. It's kind of like an Elden Ring, you know, you can craft stuff as well, it's an open world, and you can do different builds and stuff like that. Of course, it's not the same type of game at all, but I'm just saying it, it it's fine. It's just that... Um, yeah, I don't. I was not expecting that because Remake was much more linear and uh, the gameplay was really complete in my opinion. It didn't need that many new things to already be good. Like if the gameplay had been exactly like Remake, I would have been fine with that. But they w really went beyond, which is fine. I think it's cool, but we'll, yeah, we'll see, I guess. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Like I haven't played enough to really make an opinion on that kind of thing. But yeah, uh, yeah, that was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed as well, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.